Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, they have given out of 2n plus 1 tickets consecutively numbered 3 are drawn at random. Find the probability that the numbers on them are in arithmetic progression. So, first let's take this 2n plus 1 tickets consecutively numbered starting from 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, dot, dot. So we have till 2n plus 1. But before that, it will be 1 lesser, so 2n. And before this, 1 lesser, 2n minus 1. Again 1 lesser, 2n minus 2. Again 1 lesser, 2n minus 3. So, we have written starting from 1 till 2n plus 1. We are going to take 3 tickets at random and we have to find the probability that the numbers on them are in arithmetic progression. Suppose if I take this 1, 2, 3. Now this is in arithmetic progression. So, the difference is 1. If d equal to 1 then I can take this as one option then I can take 2 3 4 that is these three numbers or I can take 3 4 5 so like this it comes and if we see at the end the three numbers will be this dot 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 and at the end we have 2 n minus 1, 2n and 2n plus 1 are the 3 numbers. So, all these combinations represent the common difference 1. Now, how many such possibilities are there if we count? See, till here it ends and I cannot take starting from 2n, 2n plus 1 and further because I do not have the next number. So, till this itself, our option end. It means starting from 1, 1, 2, 3 is one option. Starting from 2, 2, 3, 4 is another option. So, like this, I can do till 2n minus 1, 2n and 2n plus 1 and I cannot start from here. So, the total number of possibilities, even d is 1 is total possibilities when d is 1 is 2n minus 1. In the same way, if I take if d equal to 2, so if d is 2, I will take 1, 3 and 5. Starting from 2, 2, 4, 6. Starting from 3, 3, 5, 8. Because 1, 3, 5, the common difference is 2, it is in AP. And at the end, suppose this is the last element I have chosen, it will be 2n plus 1, 2n and 2n minus 3. So, let us write it here, 1, 3, 5, then 2, 4, 6, dot, dot, dot. The last will be 2n minus 3. 2n minus 1 and 2n plus 1. So, all this common difference is 2. So, from this, if I find the total possibilities, it will be the last option is 2n minus 3, 2n and 2n plus 1. Then, starting from 2n minus 2, I cannot take. If I take 2n minus 2, then 2n, then I do not have number beyond that. So, this is the last option. Till here only I could take. Beyond that I cannot take. And till 2n minus 1 is the option. So, the total number of possibility is 2n minus 3. Because starting from 2n minus 2, I cannot take. We do not have further numbers. The last number is 2n plus 1. So, from this we notice, this is 2n minus 1, then 2n minus 3. Suppose if the common difference is 3, if 
the common difference is 3 then total possibilities will be further 2 lesser so it will be 2n minus 5 so like this it keep going so if I form the sum of all the possibilities that is when d is 1 this is a possibility when d is 2 this is a possibility when d is 3 this is a possibility so like this it is keep on decreasing so let us take sum of all possibilities we get 2n minus 1 plus 2n minus 3 plus 2n minus 5 then it will be 2n minus 7 then 2n minus 9 dot 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 so actually all these are odd numbers so it will end like 5 then 3 then 1 like this it will end when I continue to do if d is 3 d is 4 d is 5 so we get a series till 1 because the last possibility will be taking one number at the end one number at the starting and one number will come in the middle so only these three numbers will come one and some number and 2n plus 1 so this is one option and that one option is this so we find in every cases of d we find the odd number of possibilities and we have written as a series let's rewrite the series it is actually 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus then dot 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 we have 2n minus 1 so when n is 1 we get the first term when n is 2 we get the second term that is 3 when n is 3 when I put 3 here 6 minus 1 5 we get the third term so this is our nth term this is our nth term so we can find the sn using the formula of arithmetic progression even this is an arithmetic progression where the value of a is 1 and d is 3 minus 1 2 and the last term a n is 2 n minus 1 so some formula is n by 2 into a plus a n we are going to find the sum of this arithmetic series which is nothing but the sum of odd terms n by 2 is written as it is a is 1 and a n is 2 n minus 1 so we can cancel these two now if you multiply this will be n by 2 into 2 n after cancelling the two we get n square so this is the total number of possibilities where the number on them are arithmetic progression if you take three numbers from the ticket which is consecutively numbered now let's find the total possibilities of taking three from two n plus one tickets that is from 2n plus 1 we take 3 so 2n plus 1 c3 when we evaluate this 2n plus 1 into 1 lesser than this further 1 lesser than this whole divided by 1 into 2 into 3 when I combine these two we can use a formula a plus b into a minus b so the middle 2n is written as it is 2n square minus 1 square whole divided by 6 even we can cancel this so totally this is n into 4n square minus 1 by 3 now the required probability is n square we have to divide by the total possible that is 4 n into 4 n square minus 1 divided by 3 we can cancel this and this and this 3 will be carried to the numerator so totally this is 3 n divided by 4 n square minus 1 